What's up? What's up everyone? I'm just gonna make a short and sweet kind of beginner uh, plant mom video. There are gonna be tons of videos out there about satin pothos, about Scandapsis pictus, but I don't think enough people show off um, their Scandapsis pictus silver ann, which is probably my favorite plant. It's hard to like choose. I don't think enough um, videos are out there comparing kind of your regular uh, Scandapsis pictus RG, RGAS, RGAS, you know this one, <laughs> um, with a silvery and So maybe it can help you decide if you need both of them. And I, I guess you need both of them. But maybe if you're in a position and you try and decide between which two, decide which to buy first because you're gonna buy both of them. This is the standard Scandapsis pictus Argeus. I should have looked up how to pronounce it. Argeus. I have my computer right here. Oh, Argeus was pretty much it. Yes. And you'll see the leaves have a beautiful silver speckling all throughout. Um, a really kind of rich dark green, which I love. And it's almost like leopard spattering. The print on them. This is a cutting that I got from a plant at work and she's grown and she's beautiful and I love her. Now this is my Scandapsis Silvery Ann and it's actually really funny because I bought this plant from the sill as a Scandapsis Pictus Argyreus. The picture was a plant exactly like this, a small four inch pot and I guess I lucked out because this plant here is most certainly, definitely a Scandapsis pictus silvery and Scandapsis pictus silvery ands will have higher concentrations of silver um, in one spot. So even leaves that have less silver, all this, more, more of the silver is gonna be concentrated in one area than throughout the leaf. Whereas the RG Reyes was very, more pretty evenly speckled all throughout the leaf you won't see leaves like that on a silvery ant oh this is a pretty rg reyes looking leaf and even still you see there's parts where it's blank and rg reyes won't have areas that are this blank granted when i first got this plant from the sill it was not super obvious it was a four inch plant all the leaves were kind of light like they were like younger leaves and i was kind of a newer plant mom anyway so i'm just like okay this one here is probably the most RG Reyes is going to get. And as you see, it's more likely that a Silvery Ann has completely um, just green portions of the leaf. And then what silver does exist is going to be concentrated on some area of the leaf. So it's more likely that Scandapsis pictus have leaves that are almost entirely green if they're not speckled. Whereas that won't happen on this plant. All of them are gonna be speckled. They might have, some might have less, some might have more, but they're all gonna have pretty even speckling throughout, as you can see from all of those leaves. Everyone's pretty speckled. And there are leaves straight up on my um, Silver Ann that are like green. <laughs> so that's obviously mostly green. I love this plant. It is actually fantastic. If I had to choose, cover your ears, I would choose. Highly recommend both of them. I will say, in my experience, this one is more easily propagated. Um, the leaves root up really quickly and happily. This one, I don't know. Um, the leaves that I took to propagate, most all of them rooted, but not as, as quickly and as nicely as every single one of the leaves that I cut uh, from this rooted. Whereas this one had a few casualties. And then um, I potted up, I have a couple others of this and they're kind of taking their time to grow. So um, I guess greatness takes time, but that is my quick little video on the Scandapsis pictus argyreus and the Scandapsis pictus Silvery Ann, she's just a queen.
she's just actually clean. Also, let me plant fail. Plant fail. Um, that leaf was not bitten off. You know how sometimes you'll see new growth coming in and it seems like the little leaf is like struggling and stuck and it's all kind of rumpled up and I called myself helping this leaf out and giving it like a little tug out of the out of the womb and I ripped it because I'm an idiot. Nature does not need any help from us. That's the lesson. But anyways, these are my babies. I hope this video was fun. I know us plant lovers just love looking at plants in all their glory, so that's really why I made it. <laughs> so you guys can look and drool over these gorgeous green beauties. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all in my next video. Bam, bam, bam.